guys, Wendy360 here. Good morning. Um, it's morning time. I just said that. I'm going to work. But I was thinking to myself, self, why is work so far? I mean, I'm not complaining about my job. I'm complaining that why is it so far? Wendy360. I mean, why haven't we created teleportation yet? That would be awesome, you know, like to just be able to like, bam, I'm at work. Or, ah, flying like the Jetsons. I know some of you guys that watch YouTube are probably really young and don't know what that is, but I would love to be able to fly like the Jetsons in the Jetson car. But no, I have to drive. It takes so long. I can't believe how long it takes, you guys. It's like two hours. Not just to get there, but an hour there and an hour back. I know there's lots of people out there, and I bet all of you are thinking the same thing. Why can't I teleport to work? Or is that just me? I never know. My brain's kind of weird. Isn't it weird when you're going to work and you end up behind the same cars? I was behind this guy yesterday in the same long line to get onto the freeway. Oh, we're on the freeway, guys. Woo! Freeway! Yeah. We'd listen to music on the freeway if we could, but I can't vlog and listen to music. Well, I guess I could, but that would involve the radio, like the old school radio. We cannot do that, guys. I mean, sometimes I do. There's this morning show that's kind of funny, but um, I really like my Pandora and my Spotify. And so that means since I'm recording right now, hands-free, well, wait, not hands-free from the wheel. That would be dangerous. Um, <laughs> so I'm recording while I'm driving. That means that it's quiet and you just hear the heater going. Am I there yet? <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't get that whiny, but I didn't really wish I was there yet. I mean, you know what I meant. <laughs> I wish I was there at the work. Well, not really. I mean, who really wishes they were at work? But again, I have a really cool job, but I just, you know, if I could spend all my time vlogging, you know, if there were more than 25 of you, then I could make more vlogs and you could hear about the other things that I think about in the day. Like, I wonder why, shoot, I need to think of something interesting that I think about in the day. What do I wonder about? I mean, it's so hard to wonder anymore because there's the Googles. I wonder why everybody uses the Google to get answers to their questions. What happened to trying to solve the problem with your mind? Mind. We don't do that enough anymore. I like to try and solve it with my mind and then consult the Googles to confirm. That's way more fun. I wonder why people aren't nicer. I wonder how I can get better at CrossFit. I wonder why I cannot fix certain things in my form in the CrossFit. I wonder when I'll go to the CrossFit games. I wonder how I can cook dinner more efficiently. I wonder when I'm going to go dancing again. I wonder what my kids are doing right now. I wonder when my daughter's gonna wake up today. I wonder if I'll get any big air this weekend. I wonder what I'm forgetting to do right now. And now. And now. <laughs> uh, I wonder where that airplane is coming from. There's an airplane in the sky. Or is there? you wonder. I can't show you because then that wouldn't be safe and I'd have to touch my phone and that's illegal. So you'll just have to believe me when I say there's an airplane in the sky. I wonder how long it'll be until space travel is normal. I wonder if we'll have space tra travel or teleportation first. I wonder why scientists can't enjoy science fiction movies without picking it apart because it's fake. It's a movie. You guys know I'm a scientist, right? Stiff and wearing pocket protectors. Because, you know, I mean, scientists don't have to be boring. I'm not boring. I mean, I have 25 subscribers, guys. Clearly, I'm really interesting. Like, crazy interesting. Okay. So, <laughs> I crack myself up all the time. So that's a good sign, right? Or is it a bad sign? I don't know. So... <laughs> We're still driving. Did you guys notice that? We are still driving. Although I have to say, talking to all 25 of you is very amusing. I am stoked to have um, 
Well, I guess it's not really company. You guys aren't talking back. I mean, can you do better? Maybe in the comments or something, at least one of you. Make a comment. It gives me something to think about. I mean, it wouldn't be as good as if you were here, because if you were here, then you can answer me. Oh, gosh, I wonder when we are going to have two-way vlogging. You know, where I can vlog and you can vlog, and then I'll see your comments to my vlog in my vlog while I'm vlogging. Oh, that would involve time travel. I wonder why time travel never works. I wonder how long the sun will be in that position where you can't see my face. That makes me think of the song, I can't feel my face when I'm with you, but I love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder why that song is so popular. I mean, no offense, guys. That song really has nothing to it. But yet, yeah, it's so catchy. And I remember hearing it with my buddy on a work trip and we were mocking it mercilessly. And then now it's like everywhere, everywhere. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Like, why does that mean love exactly? I'm confused. I wonder why the people can't feel their face. And I wonder why the lyrics, you might be the death of me, made it into that song about not feeling my face. Have you ever been in love where you can't feel your face? Hmm. I wonder what spurred that song on. We're still driving. Yep, still driving. 9.26. I'm running kind of late. Be forever. I wonder what they mean by be forever on their license plate. I wish how I could teleport to work. Like, think about it. I would have been there. But wait, if I teleported, then you wouldn't have this awesome vlog to watch. And then you'd be crying in your shoes. But not the shoes that I wore last week, so you should check out that vlog if you didn't. They were really cute, but they didn't make it out. But other shoes, other shoes, solid shoes. You know, the kind of shoes that hold tears. Hey, I wonder who came up with the phrase, crying in my shoes. Did we just make that up? I don't know. We say it at my work a lot, usually when we're getting overloaded with tons of stuff to which there's no hope of overcoming, but yet we still overcome after crying in our shoes. Does crying in your shoes actually make it better? Have you ever cried in your shoes? I haven't. I don't cry very much. I wonder how many tears you could actually cry at once. Could you feel up a shoe by crying in your shoe? I wonder. I don't know that I've ever been sad enough to cry for that long to try and cry and fill up my shoe. I wonder if you need to have a waterproof shoe to fill up your shoe to cry in it. Although, why would you cry in your shoe? I mean, that's smelly. Maybe it would aid in crying longer? I wonder what the rest of the sticker on that van back there said. It said zombies, and then I thought the subline said like a girl with brains? I'm not sure what that means. Does that mean girls with brains are like zombies? That's not very nice. Or do they like girl zombies better than boy zombies? I'll never know. I wonder if it matters if you're a girl or a boy when you're a zombie. Because don't zombies live forever? I think they do, right? As long as they eat brains. Do zombies die if they don't have enough brain? I guess since they're not real, it doesn't really matter either way. It's just interesting. We're still driving, people. I know. You're very sad for me. Ooh, wouldn't it be fun if you could go to work via like direct like mini roads? I mean, that's kind of like a spinoff of the Jetson plane idea, but in the, the situation where you couldn't have the Jetson vehicle crafts flying through the sky, what if you could have your own little mini roads that form in front of you like on Rainbow Bright. Does anybody remember Rainbow Bright? Uh, I do. If I knew how to vlog better there'd be a little bubble going above my head and then I would do a playback of Rainbow Bright. But I'm kind of time deprived because of this long drive so I doubt that I'll actually do that but I thought about it with the bubble that you can't see over my head. Sorry guys. Still driving. 
I really wish you could see the scenery on the outsides of my windows because then it might be more entertaining on our drive. But you can't. You just have to look at my face. And now I can't feel my face. Yeah. I wonder why somebody would attach a baby doll to the back of their car. Yes. Seriously, on the tailgate hitch, on a vehicle I just drove by, it was like an old beat up truck, there was a doll just sitting there, hanging out. I wonder why you do that. Why do you do that, world? Hmm. Now we're switching freeways, guys. Switching freeways. Because we've got to go the other way to get to work. It's actually kind of roundabout. There's no direct path that makes sense to go to my work. No matter what, it's like, Monkey. Again, I can't complain about traffic here. I mean, it is 9.30 and I'm going the speed limit. I know some of you all are, I'm not Southern. I know some of you guys are, you know, going five miles an hour. I promise you, I've been there. I know how bad that stinks. Nobody likes going five miles an hour. There was that great commentary on that in Office Space, which is one of the best movies ever. If you've ever had an office job, you could totally understand why TPS reports suck. I don't have TPS reports, but I do have reports like TPS reports. It's called entering my time. It's annoying. I get like a bazillion emails a day. Again, I'm, I'm a scientist, so I can use words like sciency and bazillion. We're still driving. If I teleported to work, I could have been there and home and been there and home like a bunch of times. I wonder how many times. How long do you think teleporting takes? Like if it were real. Remember coffee requirement people. Coffee requirement. I get up at four in the morning. I wonder how long it'll be until we have cars that drive themselves. Like on iRobot? Yeah, iRobot. Good Will Smith movie. I like that one. Um, anyway, I wonder. I mean, if your car drove itself, it would kind of be like taking the bus, only not because you would be in your own car, which is, you know, pretty awesome. So, yeah, I wonder. I wonder how long it's going to take me to edit this footage. Because I have such a long drive, there's a lot of footage. And you don't want to see the whole drive. You get so bored. I get bored. We're almost to our exit, people. We are getting off of the freeway. Can you feel my excitement to get off of the freeway? Not really. I wish I could take the freeway all the way to my stop. Because again, then it would be sort of like the Rainbow Bright movie where the road just goes where you want it to. <sighs> that doesn't exist yet. I wonder why my glasses look so much bigger right now. I mean, they're like huge. They cover my head. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's because of the angle. <laughs> I wonder how much better I'd get at handstand walking if I could handstand walk through my entire building at work all day long. That'd be pretty awesome. I'd have to get better first to do it, or would doing it make me better? I wonder if safety would yell at me if I handstand walked through my building all day. I wonder why a place that makes flavors for food smells so bad. Yes, I drive by this place on my way to work that makes, you know, like extracts and stuff. And seriously, when they're running their vents, it is the most wretched smell that I've smelled. Seriously, bad. I wish that you could put smell into vlogs. Huh, I wonder how long it'll be until you can put smell into the internet. Huh. We are still not there yet. I'd like to point out it is now 9.44. We're still not there. But we're having a good conversation. This is a good drive, guys. Thanks. Thanks for helping me have a better drive.
Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for being such great company this week. Bye!